The Colorado Buffaloes opened their second season under head coach Deion Sanders on Thursday evening, uh, August the 29th, as they'll host the North Dakota State Bison. And that game will be televised live on ESPN at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Don't make light of Colorado St- or North Dakota State, excuse me. Uh, this is a team that's been terrific uh, since 2011. They've won nine national championships at the FCS level, and they put together a combined record during that time of something stupid. Like, uh, how about being specific, Ross? 166 and 19 over that course of time. So, There you have it. They're not going to be intimidated by the situation at hand. The game won't be too big for them when you consider the fact that North Dakota State, who's had a hell of a time getting any FBS teams to schedule them early on anymore because, look, since 2007, they've gone 8-1 and against FBS competition. Not only that, uh, they've defeated the likes of power conference teams like Kansas, Kansas State, Iowa State, Iowa, and also defeated the Minnesota Gophers two times during that time span. So uh, this is not a team to take lightly, and I don't think Colorado will. But by the same token, just a friendly reminder, folks, if you can kindly give me a like on this video, it goes a long way in keeping the videos free. And it also is a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video each and every day and my utmost uh, pursuit of making you a smarter sports better today than you were yesterday. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Wager Talk TV. Hit that subscribe button below. It's absolutely free to do so. Everybody likes free. There's no strings attached. There's no hidden agenda. You won't be inundated with emails or text messages. You'll just be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. And while you're at it, click on your alert notification bell Fort Wager Talk TV on your YouTube settings, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our great podcasts, free pick videos, instructional videos going up on our channel. All right, so I touched a little bit upon North Dakota State. Uh, Colorado, they'll return nine players, both offensively and defensively. However, nine players returning defensively on a team that allowed 30, a unit, I should say, that allowed 34.3 points per game last year isn't really uh, something that's inspiring uh, because you're still, you know, you're still having the same amount of players, well, nine out of your 11 starters returning from a team that was pretty inept defensively, especially down the final stretch of the season. Uh, North Dakota State, by the way, they're the number two ranked team uh, in the uh, preseason FCS poll. And they're absolutely loaded at the skill positions offensively. Uh, and their quarterback returns. Uh, they have a tremendous running game and also some seven, eight deep at the wide receiver position. So, uh, again, they're an FCS team, but this is a team that has a tradition of winning. Uh, they've sent several players to the NFL over the course of the last decade. And uh, this is a team you can't take lightly. And against a vulnerable defense like Colorado, I think North Dakota State will be able to move the ball uh, with a high degree of efficiency and score their fair amount of points along the way as well. Uh, The Colorado offense, by the way, they also, like I said, return nine players. And that's led by star quarterback Shadur Sanders in Boy, I felt sorry for this kid near the end of the year because the offensive line just could not protect him, and he was just getting beat up physically, which caused them to miss at least one game that I could recall, possibly two. But he did complete 69.3% of his passes last year for 3,230 yards. And get this, folks, he had a touchdown-to-interception ratio of 27 TDs against just three picks. He has a bona fide NFL uh, first round draft choice waiting to happen at wide receiver. And Travis Hunter, as a matter of fact, like his head coach, Travis Hunter is an elite two way player. Uh, he can play both offensively and defensively. He plays a cornerback on defense where he figures to be uh, mostly if he goes when he goes to the NFL, but you just never know because he's been very productive 
uh, at the wide receiver position, and he looks to be one of the best wide receivers in the country uh, at this juncture before the you know, season begins. Uh, North Dakota State, if they have a weakness defensively, it's their secondary will be very vulnerable. So I look for uh, Colorado's aerial attack, led by Shadur Sanders, uh, to put up a lot of yards and move the ball via the air and to open up some opportunities in the running game, which left a lot to be desired last year. But again, I think that they'll, uh, I, I think Shadur Sanders will have anywhere between three to 400 yards passing in this game, and Colorado will put up some points as well. So this is a Colorado team I'm sure you're aware of if you're a college football fan. They got off to a great start last year, 3-0, and was ranked in the top 25, and then they proceeded to lose eight of their last nine games. Uh, if you remember the start of the season last year, they were absolutely explosive offensively, uh, scoring 36 points or more in four of their first five games. And then uh, the roof caved in. A lot had to do with uh, Sanders getting beat up, getting banged up, missing some games in the offensive line, just not getting the job done in pass protection. So uh, North Dakota State, Score will be able to move the ball. North Dakota State will sh will score their fair share of points, and I think Colorado will have a huge day moving the ball in the air. I like this game to go over the current total of 59. So I'm going North Dakota State, Colorado, over the total of 59. Don't forget, folks, my college football annual package is up right now. You can go to my direct link, wt.buzz slash rb it's just 529 for that package and uh last year number two overall in uh money earned in college football number two overall in college football nfl money earned combined uh finished the college football season 62 and 42 uh that's a 62 and 42 run i should specify uh which is around 60 percent was 58 percent on a year in college football and uh uh, again, number two, not only in money earned in college football, but college football, NFL combined. And for an extra $300, folks, you can get college football, NFL combined package for just $829. So until the next time, which will be tomorrow, take care and God bless, folks. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like.